Push me around, son. Ah, here I come, here I come. Well, hello there, YouTubers. So you know, you've got four wheels now. What happened? I got four wheels now. I've had some some back problems. Means maybe that's why we haven't made any videos in a while. But I think that we're gonna uh, be able to do something nice and tight tonight. Let me see if I can get myself centered. Want some help? Tech? You want me to help you? Let out? me center myself. <laughs> let me, let me center you. myself. Let me help you. Hold on. <laughs> let me center myself in there. Yeah, you ain't, you're an oh, invalid. Let me see if I understand. You're broken. It just big one. Ow! Bastard. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Shit, I need a drink already. What we're going to do is we're going to excel the process of making some brown smoky liquor. Yes, we are. Hey, let me get up here. We're gonna electrify it. We're gonna electrocute it. We're gonna electrocute some booze. We're gonna electrocute the hell. We're gonna out. electrocute some booze. So what we got here is a uh, some moonshine. You know it's moonshine. Old it's got, triple X. It's got the triple X. Yeah. On. You know it's moonshine. We're gonna put the moonshine in this jar here. We got us some. What do we got here now? Here, Marco, Bobby. Well, we got some Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips. These are cut out of whiskey barrels from Jack. You can get them in any grocery store, basically, or anywhere. Yeah, basically. Pretty, pretty cheap, and they're good though. They're good if you want to cook some meats or whatever you're going to smoke with. But we're going to we're going to smoke some whiskey. Yeah. So we're going to put them in this jar here, along with some of our standard triple X moonshine, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do something crazy to it. We're gonna shock the fuck out of it. That's right. We're gonna, we're gonna plug something in and fucking just zap it. And we're gonna start by cutting some copper strips. This is where we cut like some three quarter one inch strips. Yeah, lengthwise. That looks pretty good there. That looks like a good half inch strip all the way through. Now, see. This would this takes a lot less time if I had some left-handed shears, as Marco Bobby he's is. He's making me do this. He likes making fun of my left-handedness. No, I'm not saying. I'll that tell you what. Though, I'll throw a curveball by him, and he'll never see it. I'll so you know, I got that going for me. Trouble with the curve. Who's that? Dick Bob. That movie. Trouble with the curve. Because I brought <laughs> Clint Eastwood, no said. <laughs> All right. Justin so Timberlake. Once All right. this guy finally figures out how to cut these into strips. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Great strips here. We're just going to uh, peel this. This copper that we've got came with a nice uh, backing. Here, we just need to make sure we peel these backings off. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Marco Bobby. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them down till we're not touching the ground in this jar. Just, you know, move an inch or two off the bottom. Yeah, I'd say a little bit, let's say raise it up just a little, yeah, a little bit. More, more. Oh, that's okay. perfect right there. And then we're about, gonna, about, about a little bit over three quarters, maybe about a, a seven eighths. Okay, then we're gonna fold that over. Mm -hmm. Make a little hook and clamp it go. down a little I'm bit. do the same on the other side there. That's beautiful. That's fine. You think that's good? Yeah, it looks good. Good luck. Uh, what we're doing is we're hooking up our electrodes. We're bending in our electrodes. So we'll go ahead and take them out for now. Yeah, they're preset there. It's beautiful. You did a good job there. Which I'm a good bender of copper. You are a very good I bender of copper. Maybe mama be proud. Uh, next is we're going to add in some Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips. These are meant for your smoker to, I guess, make your meat taste like whiskey. But what we like to do is make our whiskey taste like whiskey. What are them chips made out of? Well, these are, chips are made out of uh, Jack Daniels white oak crafted. Um, it's white oak. What he's saying is it's white oak. It is white oak. <laughs> That's so right we're looking for. Made from 100% Jack Daniels oak aging barrels, which are made out of white oak in the great state of Tennessee. And who doesn't love Tennessee? Who doesn't love Jack Daniels? Who doesn't love White Oak? So now that we 
got our uh, bag open of old number seven Jack Daniels pre-charred uh, smoking chips. We're just gonna go ahead and put some of this in this jar right here. How much are we gonna put in there? You know, not too much. Uh, this stuff goes. Yeah, that was a good pinch. That's one, two pinches. This stuff goes pretty quick. Once you add that, uh, once we add our secret ingredient, which you don't know about yet, three pinches. We'll just do about like that right now. We'll go right a little four little pinches. You want to do another one or not? Yeah, let's go five. Make it one nice more? And solid, yeah. Right, let's get some of these dark ones here. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll put this to the side over here. That looks good. That looks good. That looks about right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some of our good old clear liquor here. You know it's moonshine because it's got the three X's on it. Triple X. Triple X. That meant something different in the 70s, but for this, that means good liquor. You're right. All right, so let's go ahead and pour this uh, good old white lightning into this jug here. If you help me out there, Marco Bobby, make sure I don't miss. Let's go. Let's go. And we're going to fill this up pretty much to the tops. Without overflowing, just about to right there. That's beautiful. You got the chips in there. Ooh, you smell that? I do. <laughs> it smells like some good corn whiskey, doesn't it? You know you're alive when you smell some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right. to take these copper pieces here. This is an old fancy trick. And also kind of a new trick. I'm going to put this in here. Boom. All right, so now that we've got our uh, we've got our copper hooks in, we're gonna introduce the secret ingredient to rapid aging. I got it right here, and this might look a little scary. I'm gonna take that, yeah. This is not scary at all, though. These are just Matt's nipple clamps. That's all they are. These are when he's bored and lonely in his little room, he just hooks them on hooks up. Hooks them up there. Has a good old time. Just, the D Bob's on there. Let the good times oh, roll. Okay. <laughs> Lots so, of what we're going to do, go ahead, plug that in over there. We're going to take this. This is just right here. This is just a battery tender. A battery tender. Right, this is not... charge your motorcycle battery or, you know, whatever. Charge yeah. a battery up. Yeah. It's not a full-on charger or jump starter. All this is going to do is it's going to introduce a little bit of electricity into uh, our jar here. Ah! Yeah. Now, this has a fuse in line, too, just in case. So, if something happens while this is sitting, which is only going to take 24 hours. Look, he's still alive. Son of a bitch. As you see, this is not that dangerous yet. <laughs> Day's not over. All this is going to do is introduce a little bit of electricity into this liquor here, and it's going to run through them wood chips. And as it runs through them wood chips, it's going to rapid age it. And as y'all know, electricity kind of, you know, speeds everything up a little bit. You put a little heat on anything, everything gets a little hotter, a little quicker. Yep. I almost want to say it looks a little darker already. It does. That might just be the cutting board that I'm looking at. <laughs> so we're going to let this sit for 24 hours just like it is. Like we said, this is a, a battery tender, not a charger. You don't want to put a bunch of voltage through this. You just want to let it sit in a safe. How many volts is this? You know, <laughs> 12 volts. Well, that'd be my guess, too, volts. because anything like that is usually 12 volts, right? Yeah, but you got the, eight. You got. By the six, time it goes through, for a battery to charge is a battery, which we hook these up to our motorcycle batteries, got to be twelve volts. It's a right? twelve volt charger, yeah. but yeah. how much is going through the liquid? I don't know. Stick With your all finger that in and find out. I will not do that. Come on, I will not do. I got that. a dollar. Stick your. Tongue I got on. a dollar. I'll stick. So we're gonna let this sit for twenty four <laughs> hours. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shit, it's been in worse places. <laughs> I'm sure it has. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna let this sit for twenty four hours in a very safe place, just in case. Something happens, uh, and we'll see it tomorrow, and we'll find out if it works. Let's see what happens. Country Rad.
All right, folks, we're back after 24 hours of our uh, rapid aging experiment, hooking up the electricity to the jar uh, with the, moon, the, the moonshine moon chips in there. See if you remember last night, these little electrodes, these little copper things, we hooked them up. Go ahead pull them out there, Yeah, Marco we could Bob. pull these out. We hooked these up to some electricity, a little battery tender. Now, unfortunately, what we did not do is we did not have a control jar. Uh, what we should have, what I mean by a control jar is a same jar, same amount of liquor, same amount of chips with no electricity compared to this jar with the electricity. We fucked up. We failed on that one and I apologize to, to our viewers. But what we did do is I brought along this uh, crystal jar here. This is some of... Uh, our barrel aged whiskey. Country Rad's finest, a uh, year aged oak, white oak barrel aged. In a, what is that, a five gallon uh, barrel? It's actually or only two, two gallons. No, it's actually two gallons. Two gallons, two little, gallons. little barrel. And this was aged for one, actually about 11 months, not a full year. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to compare the uh, color and flavor to this uh, to our uh, electroshock experiment. All right, well, with our taste test with the uh, year-aged barrel stuff to our overnight electrified, we're going to look for three different things. Uh, Marco, Bobby, why don't you tell them what uh, we're looking for? Sure. First of all, we're going to be looking for some color. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to be looking for <laughs> next of all, smell. We're going to mm. smell it. We're going to make yeah. sure that the, uh, the smell comes through of the oak and the age and the last not, not least. And not least, by no means, is the flavor. How does it taste compared to our our actual aged uh, uh, whiskey? Again, sorry we didn't have a, a straight up control jar to see if it's even better if it's better than just doing it on its own. Uh, but this is the best we got uh, to come across, and uh, let's fire this uh, taste test up. All right. All right. Let's get a couple glasses over here. Here we got a couple cups. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one here with just a little bit of our barrel aged. You can go ahead, uh, Marco Bobby, if you want to just top. What you want me to do? Uh, pour our uh, shock treatment into that okay, one. I'm do that and try and to get those chippies in there. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. There's a chip. And now we can compare. All right. All right, color wise. Well. This one is much lighter. Why don't you show the show the folks up there so they can get a good, good look? Let's get you a look at good look at what okay. it looks like. Here we go. Barrel aged. So next is the uh, smell test, right? Let's see how let's see how these smell. Go first. This is our barrel aged here. Oh, smells like oh, oh smells like whiskey, as it should. Go ahead and take a little <laughs> snort of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That smells like the real thing right there. And it is the real thing. And that's okay. why we're comparing it. Let's go ahead and uh, do a smell test of our uh, shock treatment. A little light in color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's got an oak miss to it. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. An oak miss to it. A little bit. Uh, not nearly as much. You, you can pretty much tell in the color that it, it mm, shouldn't. It shouldn't have that smell. So let's go ahead and taste it. So, uh, if we dare, let's try the taste test. Let's try it. Oh, our our tried my, and true. My favorite part. Our my tried and true. Part. You know me. Got all, 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 to get that snort. That's a beautiful whiskey. I will tell you that. Tried and true. Smells nice good. and oaky, smooth. Uh, doesn't scare you. Oh, that is good. But still has a bite that's, that's a 95 that's proof. That's good. Well, we put it in the barrel over a year ago. 95 proof? For sure. It was. 95. Yeah, that no, in. that's good. That's good. It, like I said, that's our tried and true. All right, now let's try our electroshock. Smell it. It's, it's kind of weak. A little bit of oaky. Yeah, it's only been a day. I don't know about you, but I don't get a lot of woodiness in that at all. Not even a little bit. I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit. Is the tie Just a little bit. Yeah. It's not bad, though. It's it's pretty smooth. 
Oh, absolutely it's not. Fun. It's not bad. Well, we started we started off with a with a prime whiskey, with a prime white lightning. So it's not going to be bad. I think the moral of the story is well, you know, we could have kept this going in these wood chips. I know a lot of folks do this nowadays for maybe a few more days or another week or two or whatever. Yeah. I'm not sure if the electricity worked. We got to maybe try that again sometime. Yeah. But the moral of the story is you want some good brown barrel aged whiskey, do it proper, do it in a barrel. There is no replacement for time. You can't rush a good thing. No, Come you on, can't. Man. You just can't. Not at all. Uh, th there's a couple other uh, experiments we could do with uh, rapid aging. Uh, but as far as this one goes, and you know the funny thing is, I just learned about this. You know how I learned about this? Television. Master, like CNN? master distiller no, I was gonna on say television. CNN or something. I've know, seen a guy do this, and I said, you know what? I want yeah. to try that. He said it's been in his family for years, and he had a, a little car uh, battery tender and said, hey, this is how I did this. So I said, let's try it. it uh, uh, 24 hours is, is not enough, or maybe no. we didn't have enough wood chips. I mean, there's lots of uh, ver ver veritable, veritable, veritables. Uh, agreed, but still, the it, fact remains, you want a good uh, aged whiskey, you got time, nothing but time, time. man. Okay. What I'd like to do while we have everything here ready to go, we got an idea of a good friend of ours, a subscriber of our YouTube channel, been around since the beginning. He's a good man. Talking about vacuum aging, which I really want to try. And since we got everything here. Let's go ahead and probably add a little bit more wood chips. What do you think? Yeah, here, can I give the pinch? Yeah, yeah you go ahead and give the pinches. Wood. Let's put a little bit more wood chips we're in there. We're gonna go one, we're gonna go another one. And this this friend of ours talks about, and he Maybe actually had us try some of his, uh, vacuum aging. Basically what you're doing is you're putting the wood chips to the liquor instead of putting the liquor into the wood. But by vacuuming all the air out, you're sucking all that liqueur into those chips uh we got everything here that we need to for the setup and we do. let's go ahead and we hook do. it up okay so uh we got these here uh food saver vacuum machine right plus a very specialized uh jar vacuum top sealer this is for canning foods and things like that that sucks out the uh why do i keep looking at our cameraman because he's, Cause he's so, so fucking good <laughs> all right so uh off the top, really quick, like uh, like we said, one of our uh, closest viewers gave us this idea of, I won't say quick aging, but a different type of aging, uh, putting the wood chips into the liquor, vacuum sealing it with a good old food saver and a very specialized uh, uh, jar topper that's used for canning foods. You can buy them online anywhere. You can buy them on the, uh, the, the jungle, the Amazon, which yeah. is where we got these. Okay. And we're going to put this here on here like this. See, do you think that's enough wood chips? Well, shit, Should we know. put some more? Let's just throw, just yeah, throw a couple. Throw another pinch we don't there. actually know. This is the first time we've done this. The more the merrier. Uh, Come on. We'll go one more. Subscriber, you know who you are. If this is wrong, give me a text. Let me know if yeah, I should go. roll with this or pop it and redo it. I think uh, that's good. That looks good looks to me. Good to me mm -hmm. Like I said, for our first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way this works, real simple here. Watch this here. We're gonna take the the cap of the jar. This happens to be a small mouth cork jar. We're gonna put that on here like this, right? This is a nice, clean, dry top. We're gonna put the uh, vacuum saver cap over the top of this, right here. Okay. Goes on there like a plunger, and then we're gonna hook up. The canning jar two, press it right in there. This is gonna go ahead and vacuum seals this and have Marco Bobby hit the canister. C A N I S T E L. And you just, look, you don't see, look, go. just watch what happens here. Look, you gonna see the. the oh, it air sounds like me in the morning. Being sucked out of the jar, the chips just moving around. You can see it working, bubbling. Like a twenty-dollar hooker. Look at that, sucking all that air out, <laughs> sucking all the liquor into them wood chips. I mean, that is just a beautiful thing. Isn't that it? Well, there, folks. Uh, that's the end of our videos. Uh, sorry that there was no conclusion really to anything other than the electrifying 
rapid aging may or may not work. Just We just didn't know exactly what we was doing, how much wood, how much time it would take. Either uh, way, it's still good liquor. And we're, we're going to try to make it better. I'm pretty sure it will be. I like the idea of repurposing the, uh, the, the very first try with the electronics and then turning into the vacuum try. Again, thank you again for our subscriber. You know who you are. Um, this is the first time we're doing this. And this may sit for one day or, or one year. We don't know yet. So we don't even know if we have enough wood chips in there. But I bet you it comes out to I be pretty good. pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to work. It was good to start with. It's just going to get better. If you start with a good base, you're going to end up with a good end product. Hello, Bob. Why don't you come over here real quick? We'd like to introduce you to our cameraman. Which you already know, part What's of up? third Country member, Red himself. third member of Country Red. Low right Bob. We were we were making a, a joke that he looks like Kevin Smith with his hat back. Look, where it's after we got he a lost star in our midst right here. But thank you to Low Bob, uh, the other Country Red uh, manufacturer, for filming this uh, this piece together, uh, a rapid aging or uh, uh, secondary aging technique video. Low Bob, we really appreciate it. We really do. What do you think of it? You think it's going to turn out well? I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. It's already getting darker in the yeah. last 10 minutes. I think, it, I think it'll work. Actually, yeah. this one got darker faster you than the see, electrodes did. You can yeah. see it. It's already darkened. It is. So this, this has a lot of promise. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate you uh, having the patience to sit through our videos. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like buttons. Leave comments down at the bottom, whether they're good or bad. We don't care if they're bad. Yeah, we I like the bad. We thrive off. Like we thrive bad. off the bad. And we learn. Uh, hit the hit, uh, notifications. Hit that bell thing. Notifications. That way, every time a, a video comes out, that you'll get notified. And I know it's been a while. Right? We got some good stuff coming down the tube. Too. We got really good stuff. We got coming some down good the stuff. Tube. So stay tuned, for sure. So appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Push me around, son. Huh? Yeah.